In the last two tutorials, I was looking at uh, financial ratios, and we argued that financial ratios are useful for comparing companies. Companies are different sizes, and uh, you can't just look at the absolute numbers. So let's actually look at some real numbers here. And this is Morningstar.com. And aside from being an excellent site for checking out mutual funds, and that's really how they got started. And when you start working, you may want to go to Morningstar.com to check out the different mutual funds that are available in your 401k account and decide which ones would be appropriate for you. <clears throat> well, they also do analysis of stocks, which actually until uh, recently I wasn't even aware of. One of my students brought this to my attention. And if you type in the, the, uh, the ticker symbol or the name of the company here, and I've already done that. I have Walmart and actually I have uh, um, Nordstrom's over here. So two different types of retailers. Uh, Walmart, as you're aware, is a discount retailer. They sell, you know, stuff at, at lower costs, or at least that's, that's um, the perception. Well, if you click on key ratios and you scroll down a bit, they have a bunch of ratios here. And they have them for different things, profitability, growth, efficiency, etc. And we can use these to do a little bit of comparing. So let's take a look. This is uh, Walmart, I believe. Let me check. This is Walmart. So let's let's see what we have here. This is their net margin. So this is going to be net income divided by sales. So you can see that they're pretty consistent. It's uh, you know in the three three and a half range pretty much the whole time period here from 2003 first quarter through 2012 first quarter. And you can see let's look at their asset turnover. 2.77, 2.59, okay, kind of in the mid twos, just, just a little under two and a half, except for a couple of periods here. So two and a half. Let's let's look at Nordstrom's. Let's see what that means. Again, um, asset turnover is sales divided by assets. So it tells you how efficiently this company uses its assets to generate sales. Let's look at over, over at Nordstrom's. A very different type of retailer, um, uh, a more upper end retailer, of generally clothes, and um, you know if you've gone in there, you know stuff is pretty expensive. Okay, it's nice. Even stuff that they sell in other stores like Macy's tends to be more expensive at Nordstrom's, but it's also a nicer store if you've been in a Nordstrom's. I mean, it's just it's laid out nicer. Um, you know, the if you've dealt with any of the cashiers, they tend to be better educated, better able to help you. I mean, they're they're able to make decisions. They're probably better trained. They probably hire people like retired school teachers. People are college educated, um, you know, smart, and then they give them responsibility. Okay, they generally don't do that at Walmart. All right, so we look at the ratios. Let's scroll down here, and we'll look at the profitability ratios here and let's see what we have here let's look at the net margin okay not very good in 03 for Nordstrom's uh, 1.51 but 3.74 eight, okay a little down here but in the sixes okay I don't recall what Walmart's was let's go back this is Walmart Walmart's tend to be in the mid threes Let's go back to Nordstrom's. So Nordstrom's had some periods where it was lower, but tends to be higher. How about asset turnover? I believe Walmart's asset turnover was in the mid twos, 2.4. Nordstrom's is quite a bit lower. Look at about one and a half. So while these are both good companies, they're making their money in different ways. Nordstrom's is making it by charging a higher price but not moving its inventory out as quickly okay or not as efficiently they're not using their assets to generate sales they're using their assets to create nice stores so they can charge higher profit margins okay um, let's look at uh, and on the other hand Walmart let's go back to Walmart Walmart on the other hand has lower profit margins but turns over their inventory, or um, uh, uses their 
assets to generate sales much more effectively than does Nordstrom's. So again, different type of business model. Okay, so when you compare, you can't just say, well, you know, this number is bigger than the other. You have to look at several numbers together. Sure, Nordstrom's has better profit margins, but Walmart has better asset turnover. And we'll see when we look at DuPont analysis that those things to go together in terms of understanding something like return on equity. Let's look at um, some efficiency ratios. Okay, let's look at inventory turnover. You can see here Walmart has inventory turnover in the, you know, eights. There's some nines here where you can convert those into days in inventory by taking 365 and dividing it by inventory turnover. So, you know, maybe this is easier to think of. These are in the mid 40s. So their inventory sits on their shelves for roughly a month and a half. Let's take a look at let's take a look at uh, Nordstrom's. How does Nordstrom's days in inventory look? Oh, quite a bit longer. 86, 80, 72, 65. They did get 58. Their inventory sits around for about two months as opposed to a month and a half. So again, different kind of business model, different way to analyze a company. You know, that's not unexpected. You would expect that a company that has higher profit margins probably doesn't turn their inventory as much as a company that has lower profit margins. Think of a company like McDonald's. You know, they don't charge, they don't make a whole lot of money on each hamburger they sell, but they sell an awful lot of hamburgers. So there's a lot of ways to make money and there's a lot of ways to look at this. And we can look at, you can look at a bunch of other ratios. Here's, um, well, we had asset turnover. There's a payables period. Okay, I didn't talk about all of these things. But you can get an idea of this is a good place to go to look at companies, to look at things and to get information for certain types of analysis. Cost of goods sold as a percentage of sales. This is um, this is Nordstrom's, okay? 66, 64, 65, okay, mid 60s. I wonder what Walmart looks like. Walmart's cost of goods set, sold as a percentage of sales actually higher, kind of surprise. But again, you want to look at a bunch of different ratios to understand what type of company you're, you're looking at. Okay? A good company to look at, for example, is Apple. And in fact, uh, when I do the, uh, when you look at the DuPont analysis video, you'll see that I looked at Apple computers and I looked at their profitability and their asset turnover and their financial leverage to understand their return on equity. So this is a good site to go to um, if you're doing your own research for a company or you're doing it for a course or a report. Okay? And um, you know they've done the ratios for you. You don't have to do the computations yourself. So it's important to think about what these numbers are and probably spend less time actually doing the computations since it's quite easy to find these these things computed for you.